Hi everyone, and today we are going to compare ChatGPT with Claude's newest model 3.5 Sonnet. And this is like a super cool model, but the more cooler thing is actually the feature that they built and let me show that to you. So we're going to quickly start with a very simple prompt is I have asked it to create a brand website for a single product which focuses on brand health called dark chocolate for heart. And if you start seeing like very simply, Claude understands this much better, right? Like here it has started itself creating a whole website's outline in the code. And uh, on the right hand side, ChatGPT is creating the outline of it in text. The only thing is we can ask it to do in code. So let me just show you the website and then convert this all to an HTML code. And let me just like, again, it's still completing. So let's just do that and it will start converting very simply. Everything is there, right? Again, it's simple like the idea there's the dark chocolate heart and everything. And I would like to probably like, you know, change it a bit. And they've also added like a quantity order and everything. Again, very simple stuff. Again, same prompts, but the quality of content is super crazy, right? And second, if you look at it, if someone does not know how to code, for them to see the preview quickly is much more better than right, like, you know, taking this, putting it in an HTML file and doing that, right? The idea, I think, like with Claude 3.5 Sonnet, very simply is that the quality of response has just got super easier for anyone to use, right? And Claude is actually, Anthropic is trying to bring that in, okay? So let's try to do something more. Make it in a dark theme. It's a pretty decent code. I have an HTML file and I'm just going to paste it there and show it to you how it looks. So let's see how this looks. So this is how the website looks. We did not ask it to add any CSS. We did not ask it to do anything. And this is what the response looks like. But let's compare this to, you know, Claude. And like you can see very simply, it has done a fabulous job. And compare this to Claude. Like again, it did not only just create a website with CSS, but also it made the quality better. I asked it to make it in dark theme. And this is beautiful, right? The idea is that it makes the whole idea of prompting or learning your prompts to another level. I do have a prompt engineering course, but it just makes it simpler for people to use it and like, you know, just easier. And it also gives you like, you know, the best part is like you have an option that, yeah, this is where you can insert the image of your product. Now let's do something a bit more complex, right? This is simple. This is good. Again, complete marks to Claude for doing this and like, you know, just making it easier. But let's try something new, right? And I just want to start with that. So let's see. I kept a prompt very simple. Explain the key events of world history in a timeline based format create a graphical representation if you can right let's take first topic world war ii right and like you know again just add that same thing here now i want to see how they perform right and again i want to shift this to a temporary chart so that you know it's outside of everything that i've created right and then let's see if like it can create an artifact right like and let's look at the world war ii timeline and see if it can create Right. Again, I think the point is like it's automatically saying like, you know, artifacts is prevented. And if you can see there, it has already generated a timeline for everything. Okay. And very simply, like look at this September 1, 1939, right. And Germany invades Poland, UK and France declare war. Again, I'm not going to check the authenticity of it. Again, I'm not an expert on history. I've done that mistake before. So very simply, like, you, know, you just see events in a much more easier way right and the idea is let's see which code it used right it's just using a timeline based again mean, this is probably like a, something that artifact has while here on the right hand side we are having python code being written and that means someone has to use this uh, to create it okay so this is how it looks in the chargeability format but what i did was something a bit better right so i went and compiled the code and this is how it looks on my machine but again you need to know a bit of python you need to install the packages and everything else right compared to the left hand side right uh, i not only did that but i also got it to like you know very simply convert it into a vertical format so this is the preview that it gave us right on the left in a horizontal format and this is what I asked it to change. Again, pretty similar, not super great, but like, you know, you can see the dates, you can see everything, right? The idea is that these kind of tasks are actually super viable because the point is people want to utilize this to see stuff, right? People want to see how this works, right? So switch to a static chart and probably like, you know, you can see again within the code. So there is a comparison. The only thing is like, you know, again, if you're not using it super well, like if you're not well with Python, you can import this and learn this, but the point is the code here, again, I don't know if it is importable or something. And I'll probably have to understand what this was with. But just like, you know, the idea is like, it's super simple here. It is simpler here too, but like, you know, probably some tasks are better or I need to. Okay, let's make it a bit more complex. I want to make it, okay. Can you convert this into a DAG format diagram, right? Now, DAG format is just something I learned recently, like, you know, what it's called. I know what 
the diagrams is right and let's see if this can convert into, into a deg format with relationships and everything and see how it comes to right so again i want to see i want to push them to the brink again it will look like a graph chart it should look like yeah it should look like exactly like that on what happened and like you know how things happened in one afternoon this is how the chart looks right i would say it's not bad on either side. Obviously, the left-hand side plot looks much better. It's much more easier. Well, very simply, it does create it. The only thing that I think there are a bit more details here that we should have been able to look at. But like, again, it just makes sense, right? You can see on the left, Claude again performs technically better because it does not need me to do a shit ton of work to do this. Okay, for use case number three, I want to try something simpler and also something that people might use it for, right? Again, these are we are trying to push it to the case, but let's try to use something simpler. Create an itinerary to go to Dali in India and present it in a graphical manner right and let's see and we're going to press this off to the races and let's see how it goes very simply I want to see how it can like you know present the graphical manner of this this is going again I think the that whole uh, graph chart or like a format let's see okay so this does not look super great it's like just like you know you have the days and the events i don't want my itinerary to look like this this is much better right very simply if you look at it this is much better hopefully this one opens for some reason chat gpt is not downloading this today right but again you can see it you can understand it very simply day one morning what do you do afternoon what do you do and it created this this is super good let's try to do more right can you make it a bit more beautiful and same here right and let's see the point is Claude should probably understand like the response that I like and if it has the visual understanding of it, it it's not super great. And for some reason, Claude has started writing this in React and it has started inputting React and HTML. Let's see how they do it on ChatGPT part, but I just want to see the code which was present here. But again, I'm just seeing like this probably, yeah, they are still using Python. Okay, this is super good, right? Like, yes, I'm, I'm actually shocked because the point is this just solves so many things like artifact as a i don't know if it exists an api or not like the point is like this is so beautiful like just imagine going and putting an identity and seeing an actual response created using a generative UI. and i'm working on some use cases like that but this is super crazy good right and this is this is what i want this is what i want i want to see like this right the only thing is it should not have needed me to say it to be beautiful because again if i'm wanting a graphical format then my prompt is wrong it should be like more visual format and again this is decent right again like just it has probably added a bit of colors and like you know, added it. it's the point is because everything that chat gpt is doing by default is in python and it's obviously not a very visual thing but on the left hand side everything in react is on a very simple basis on like you know html and css and everything included okay so i am blown away so final use case i want to try something very simple and this is something i've seen cool on internet so can you create a song and play it right and english and let's see i i'm pretty sure chajib is going to say no to this because it's not it can't play it right but let's see okay okay probably like so again it's not working here audio recording again very simply like you know you can't play both the sides this is just something about i want to test but i just want to say one thing okay both the sites are playing it very good. But one thing which stands out in Anthropic Claude is very simply they're trying to make it simple for the user. They're not asking you to learn a ton of content or anything else. So it's pretty simple. This actually solves a lot of problems. People don't need to know how to code. People don't need to know how to write Python programs. Again, both of them are trying to solve it in their own way. But this one goes to Claude. This one goes to Claude by a chance. But thank you so much for watching. If you really like this video, again, I want to do a very simple comparison. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And I would love to see you in the next one.